and art players are opening their 42nd season with the dark comedy Small Mouth Sounds from playwright Bess Wool. Now joining me today to tell us more about their upcoming season in Small Mouth Sound is director Ryan Howe. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, tell us kind of how you guys got your start and then about this production. Yeah, so uh, we're actually the third iteration of a theater company uh, in Corson. This is our 42nd season. Uh, of this version. Uh, so it's just been really a great community tradition of community theater uh, just north of Brandon. Mm -hmm. uh, we like to say that we're kind of one of the one of the um, hidden gems uh, of the region just because uh, not a lot of people know that we exist out there. So it's always good to spread the word about it. Yeah, talk about Small Mouth of Sound and what that will be. Yeah, it's a weird little show. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one that we've been looking at for a couple years. Uh, and so it's about uh, six strangers that come to a silent spiritual retreat mm -hmm. uh, in the woods in upstate New York. And so um, with that, a lot of the action that takes place on stage is silent. There's this unseen meditation guru that's sort of leading the characters on stage uh, through the, the week-long retreat. Uh, and uh, it kind of becomes this holistic experience for the audience as well because they're experiencing sort of those same things the characters are going through. Yeah, I guess what's it like preparing for something like this and what's kind of that window for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's been, a, it's been an incredible challenge, uh, not only for me as a director, but also for the actors because when you take away the thing that actors are most comfortable with, which is lines, mm -hmm. uh, that opens uh, so many possibilities for that nonverbal action and the body language and all the things that um, you, know, you can really heighten your focus on. Uh, our rehearsal window is usually about uh, seven, eight weeks or so. Uh, and so we're really excited. We've been working really hard and we're opening uh, this weekend. Yeah, and then talk about kind of what's it like, also just seeing the community come out and how you guys have maybe grown over the years. Yeah, that's been absolutely fantastic. So I've been with Corson for about six years now. Okay. Uh, and so uh, just as we've had more theater companies grow in Sioux Falls, uh, we've been able to make a lot more connections as well. And so, um, you know, we've been able to attend a lot more productions. A lot of people have been coming out and seeing our stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a big deal for me this year. I really wanted to make sure that every theater company, if possible, is represented in our program because a rising tide lifts all ships. And so we're just really excited that uh, the theater community in Sioux Falls is just so big. Yeah. And then I guess talk again about when this is, how people can get tickets and all that information. Yeah. So uh, we open this weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Our evening shows are at 7.30. We have a Sunday matinee at 2.30. Uh, we'll do the whole thing again next weekend as well. You can go online at MightyCorson.com or you can call us at 605-854-1951. Okay. And then where is this located again for people? We're at the Corson Playhouse uh, just north of Brandon. Uh, if you hit the railroad tracks, you've gone too far. Okay. And then again, I got to ask you, what's your favorite part of this production? This uh, you know, uh, it's, it's really seeing uh, some really strong physical choices from our actors. And I think, again, uh, it's, it's unlike anything anyone's ever seen. When you take away uh, so much of the dialogue and you just focus on the stillness and the quiet and the action that's happening on stage, uh, we've worked really hard to create some really, truly beautiful uh, stage pictures. Yeah, definitely sounds like a really good production. So mm -hmm. definitely check that out. Thanks for being here. Thank you again. And we'll be back after the break.